as most of you know um i've been on this journey of self-discovery and transformation for the last two years or so since i started this channel i first in my first my post my first video actually it wasn't even two years it's probably just a year um i post my first video on you know me trying to get over my depression um last year i think it was of july or something like that i'll put up a thing on the screen and since then i've been doing really well i've been getting better I've been getting more confident in myself i've been transforming myself as you guys can see i've been working on my body getting bigger getting stronger etc but i find myself now going back into my old talk my, my old habit my old thoughts my 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 and, and I feel like they're a lot stronger now. Like my th thoughts are so dark sometimes. And I've been really trying to suppress a lot of my my inner emotions not to, you know, because the way how I think about it is that a man should be someone who is in control of his emotions and can properly handle his emotions and can properly translate that and handle situations properly. And for the most part, I've been doing that really well. But as of recently, I feel like I've been dropping the ball, especially when school started back. And um, I haven't been very, you know, and, and with COVID, I haven't been very efficient with my time and efficiently using my, my resources and everything. And it's been rough. I'm not going to lie. It's been rough, especially now with my schedule and how much I do during the day. And even then, I still feel like a failure. I still feel like I could be doing more. I could be doing better with my time. I could be I could be a lot further in my life than I am now. And I'm not as far as I want to be. I'm not even anywhere close to where I want to be. I've been trying so hard and it feels like I'm just not getting there. And I mean, I'm not going to lie. I've been losing hope the last couple of weeks just looking at my channel seeing the views and seeing that i'm not really growing seeing that like like i i growing up in the caribbean growing up in barbados you know you have it's just like all those stories like how guys have with their um like asian culture and stuff you know where your parents expect you to be great your parents expect you to be so much more and my mom's a lawyer bro like and she's she's a brilliant person and i feel like I'm in her shadow, I guess. Cause she, she's just so much. She's just everything good about her is what I want, and I don't feel like I'm that. You know, I feel like I have certain parts or certain qualities of her, and you know, I don't know. Like I feel like I'm in her shadow. My father, he's he's he has a brilliant mind to learn stuff and with his hands and being a technician being a cook and being everything like that and i also feel like i can't even contest some of the things that he's really good at so what am i really here to do i question my my own self-worth and everything no because as I used to be a very humble person, then I got to this point where I was so egotistical and talk cocky and narcissistic. Then I then I started then my depression set in and I just started to hate myself a lot. And then no, I feel like I've gotten back to that egotistical phase, feeling you know that I'm better than stuff. And I ha I don't think I've have I've like really found the balance between between. You know knowing your worth and overstating your worth i haven't found that balance in my opinion and i and i've been trying so hard i've been doing so much to to to, to try and it's i feel like i'm getting nowhere so i've decided today i'm gonna be seeking professional help to hopefully handle all the different stuff because it's not only depression it's not only certain things i've been dealing with but just overall this year health issues having near brushes with covid luckily i haven't had it yet 
and I don't want to have it. I shouldn't even say yeah I haven't had it and I don't want to even catch it so I've been very very careful with whatever I do and whoever I go around and I've been I've had a brush with COVID so many times um uh, at least three times that I've I've thought of and working in healthcare the people are so ungrateful sometimes like you be going out of your way to do certain stuff and people just absolutely cuss at you or complain and constantly complain they don't even and I've been trying to keep it by because they don't know exactly what we have to go through every day but at the same time it's just so demotivating having to see that and then now now I'm coming back into school last semester I know you guys don't know but I failed one of my courses and it's an accounting course it's something that I am not good at, at all and I've been trying so hard and sometimes I just don't want to look at the work and I, I, I see there and I, and I don't want to get, you know, behind on my assignments. I don't want to get behind on certain stuff, but I, in my head, I don't want to do any work, but I need to do it because I have a future to go over. I have, I have things that I, and dreams that I want to, I want to face. And uh, I don't know y'all, like it's been, it's been tough. It's been just there and i feel like i'm rambling but i need you guys to know that this really hurts me this really you know gets me down sometimes i know that i'm gonna try my best to get out of it i'm gonna keep going i mean there's no stopping the grind i'm letting y'all know that no there's literally no way i'm gonna stop the grind i just need to refocus i just need to get myself in that correct headspace i just need to get myself where i need to be to get this this sorted and get my opportunities i i've seen i'm seeing a lot of my friends graduating in my opinion i should be graduating with them but because i was so lazy and because i was so 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 not focused on at, at, at that time you know i didn't get my courses done i didn't get my work done you know like I'm not gonna say like I feel jealous but I'm a competitive person and I feel like I need to 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 get certain get a certain place you know I got goals to reach and I and I just feel like I'm not going nowhere on them I know you know it's very hard for me to grow on YouTube and stuff and I just don't have the time sometimes to start creating content for other platforms such as TikTok TikTok has way more eyes and I've seen some of the content that these guys have been posting and different things, you know. And like, I don't even know if I have that creative mind to do that, you know, like. I've been I've been trying my best, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I've been trying so hard and it's just not working out for me sometimes. Like, I, I, I don't know. I just feel down a lot of the time i don't feel like i'm good enough i don't feel like it's ever gonna be good enough for me i i set standards for myself i try to be cool i try to be you know treat people better than um i've been treated and <sighs> even those people complain and which is which is very very demotivating i'm not gonna lie it's, it's extremely demotivating Sometimes I don't even, at this point, again, I don't even want to get out of bed some morning. And I haven't felt that feeling in about a year since I started this journey. You know, I, I haven't felt like, you know, I don't want to get out of bed and do stuff. So, as I said, I've seek professional help. Um, probably hope to see a doctor today and work on myself and work on different things. For now content is going to be a little sparse on this channel um and i'm going to try to do more of these kind of sit down top videos instead of you know not doing anything at all because i've been slacking y'all and i want to change that i want to get to a point where i can change that and not have to worry about you know where my content is gonna go why am i not growing why am i not getting better why am i not doing this i'm not doing that i just need to put in the work and i'm just not there yet mentally i'm just not there yet i need to refocus i need to do something else i need to find a different option and that's what i'm searching for this week i'm looking for another option into getting myself ready and back into the groove of of content creation school my career everything i just need to refocus so 
I just wanted to let y'all know certain things that I feel. Um, growing up in Barbados is hard. You know, our standard of living is so high. It feels like everything is stacked against the younger population. We have so much to fix and we have so much things to go through and it just doesn't feel like we're going anywhere. I don't feel like I can grow here. I don't feel like I can get any better here. I don't feel like I can obtain my optimal stuff. And there's some people that can break through that mold and everything. But part of me feels like I can't do it. And the other part feels that I can. And we have that that sort of a devil on one shoulder and an angel on the other. And it, it you know, it gets to you sometimes, you know, like it really does. So. I don't know there's probably a lot more that i really want to say but that's what comes to my mind now um i'll i guess i'll talk about stuff more every sunday as i go through so i might be streaming a lot more instead of making individual videos what i'll i'll probably end up doing is streaming and then cutting the stuff down because sometimes i just can't record and then go to to edit again and then focus on my schoolwork and stuff like bro i've i i recognize i have a problem and i'm going to fix it and that's one promise i'm going to make to you guys i'm going to fix it i'm not going to give up on this because this is my dream and this is what i need to focus on and this need to do you know i need to juggle the part the the biggest aspects of my life and it's not only on top of that, but sometimes, you bro, like, yo, like, you feel lonely. You know, I feel lonely. I don't have friends that I talk to every day. I have my cousin. Yes, we talk almost every single day. But there are certain things that I feel like I, I'm not going to just discuss because um, we are not at that kind of level. Let's um, like I can talk to him about anything. But it's not the same thing as if I talk to a girl about certain things. It's not the same thing as I talk to an older person about certain things. Like, I don't have that kind of dynamic with with a lot of people. I don't feel any better about certain stuff. Sometimes I just want to hug, honestly. And I can't, you know? I, I, I definitely can't in certain points. I just can't. Sometimes men just need a hug. Sometimes just men just need to know that they're that there's there's somebody believing in them something somebody that can be there to say you know you got this to push them further and that's a big problem in especially in my country again my culture men are not taken very very seriously in terms of when it comes to their emotions etc from the time we were boys we say you know a lot of the adult population just say you know why are you crying men shouldn't be crying stop being like a girl or whatever but the reality crying is not being a girl crying is being human and at this point i feel like i can't cry anymore like as i there are certain shows obviously you know with high emotion stuff i will get emotional or whatever but i feel like i can't genuinely cry anymore that's that's where i'm at i feel like i genuinely can't cry anymore i can feel bad but at the end of the day I'll probably forget it. I'll probably not feel bad about it anymore and I'll just move on. And I don't want that. I want to be, I want to feel vulnerable because when I meet that girl one day, I don't want to have these problems. I don't want to bring my problems into the relationship. I don't want to bring my problems into, you know, I want to work on myself. I want to, I want to be better. And I just, I'm, I'm just stuck right now. So as I said, I'll be seeking professional help. I'll be working on myself working to be better working to be a better content creator to y'all better at talking to y'all better at you know doing everything like i just want to be better honestly and i just don't know where to do that right now so thank you guys for watching this if you guys watch this all the way through i appreciate all the love and the support those of you who have been watching my videos like throughout this time even though it's been a little bit boring i appreciate each and every one of you and i thank you guys again you guys are making at least at least the way that i started you guys have been keeping me going in terms of making the content and making stuff up on my channel and i promise you i'm not gonna stop i just need time to work on my schedule i need time to get better 
and i think i owe you all that much so thank you guys again i'll see you guys next time have a great day have a great week remember to take care of your mental health make sure that you guys take care of up here as much as you take care of your body and um i'll see you guys next time have a great day have a great week peace